Focus Mode. What is it? Focus Mode is a tool for eliminating distractions. It's similar to, but not the same as, Do Not Disturb. But it's very easy to set up. Let me show you how that's done. Start by selecting the Settings. Once that's opened, scroll down until you see Digital, Well-Being, and Parental Controls, and select it. Once that opens up, go down to Focus Mode and select it. And in here, you can select all the distracting apps. Your clock, my Wise Beta app, Google, and, well, there are 153 other apps. And you can hit the down arrow and you can see all of those and then individually select which of these apps are disturbing your focus and tell them to shut up. Plain and simple. Right now, because I'm doing lots of work with Wise Beta, I'm getting quite a few messages from Beta and I'm busy doing something else. I don't want to see those interruptions. So for right now, I'm going to select Wise Beta and I'm going to select Turn On Now. You can also select Focus Mode on a schedule, which of course is not something I'm going to be doing right now. Focus Mode is now on and distracting apps are not going to be bothering me. So now I can go ahead and do my work and when I'm ready to be interrupted again, I don't need to focus. At that point, I'll simply turn it off. And at that time, the app will again notify me when it's scheduled to send me a notice. That's how easy it is to set up focus mode and for you to actually be able to concentrate on something without interruptions. Stay safe, stay secure. I hope that helps. Good day, it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Did you know you can now access screenshots on Google Photos via the home screen? Yes, Google Photos has a new shortcut that allows users to access screenshots directly from the home screen. The app's latest version on Android now lets users open the screenshot folder directly from their phone's home screen. The new update is part of Google's efforts to make the app much easier to navigate than it has in the earlier days. Now, as someone who makes a lot of videos, I use screenshots on my Android phone all the time. And I transfer them over to my PC where I do incorporate them into my video editing software. So it is really important that this occurs quickly and easily. This new feature is a big time saver. And I want to show you how to do this on my Pixel 6 phone. It's running Android 12. And the version of Google Photos you'll need is 5.97. So let's have a look how this works. And I'm going to show you the new feature. So there are two ways to do a screen capture. In this uh, demonstration, I'll be pushing the power button and the down button on the volume control. So it's power and volume down. And if you looked at the screen, you would have seen, there it is right there, the um, screen capture. So here we are. We're going to do a screenshot of my Ring doorbell app. Watch as I swipe up from the bottom to the top with the app. And that gives us an option of doing a screenshot without actually putting it, pushing a button. We're going to click screenshot and there it does. It takes the screenshot and we can do that without pressing any buttons. From there, of course, we can, um, we can do all the usual things. We can edit it. Uh, if we click the edit button, then we can certainly um, change what we want as far as the area. We can bring the uh, slider down here and this up. And now we can, of course, um, add text to it. Say this is a test. We can certainly um, we can email this by clicking the little share button, click email, and there we are. We're going to email it to uh, to my house. So we can either do a screenshot by pushing buttons or by 
swiping the app up as I've just shown you. But once we find the screenshot, as I mentioned before, we can edit it. So in this particular situation, we can add a, um, we can add a uh, label to it and we're going to call it this as a test. This is a screenshot. And there we have it. We can either uh, uh, do a circle on this. We can circle it, put a, put a, a note there to, uh, to watch this, or we can actually color areas in. Let's see us uh, coloring a blue color there, or we can uh, indeed erase things. So once we have taken the screenshot, we have to find it. So we're going to look in Google Photos. We're going to open the Google Photos folder and select Google Photos. And we're going to click Google Photos and open it up and come down to the bottom right hand corner where you see Library. Once we click Library, Folder. We're going to open that. We'll open the Ring screenshot. And here it is. Let's have a look. Now the new feature added makes it much easier to find your screenshots. Let me open Google Photos folder and now watch, I'm going to long press on the Google Photos icon. I'm going to long press on it. It's going to open up another menu. If I click on screenshot, this is going to take me right to my screenshots. Pretty cool, eh? There it is, our front door ring doorbell screenshot. Let's go back. It even gets better. What we're going to do now is I'm going to open the same folder and I'm going to long press Google Photos and it's going to create a widget and then we're going to go to screenshot and long press it. Now if you look behind my finger there you see there's a little little icon I'm dragging along and I'm going to drop it right on top of my Google Photos folder. Now let's have a look and see what happens. Now we have a screenshot widget. So I don't even have to, I can just click on this and it will take me right to the screenshots. I don't have to open Google Photos. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at one more time. We're going to bring it up and here is the screenshot widget. I just, uh, here it is right here. I come down and I can open this up and it will take me right to the um, screenshots. Hi, I'm Mike Ungerman of the Central Florida Computer Society. In parts one and two of this series, we looked at the basics of what constitutes a solar voltaic system and how to research your home's present energy efficiency. In this third presentation, we'll investigate the potential for a solar voltaic system to provide solar energy for your home. This is a slide we've seen in previous presentations. The focus now is on the actual production of solar energy on your own property, which influences all of the other benefits of owning a solar PV system. It sometimes helps to see the big picture as we delve into the details of getting to our end goals. To that end, this short video is a good overview of what is involved in installing a complete solar PV system on an individual home.
So before one makes the big step of acquiring that expensive solar PV system we just saw, you should have a good idea how, how well that system will perform for your home. How much of the sun's energy is actually available to the surface or surfaces that you will install the system on? And what tools are available to help you make this assessment? Listed on this slide are two of many free tools that can start your investigation on the potential for producing solar energy. They can help you figure out where to place your solar panels, how many panels will be required, and the potential cost for the complete system based on what you have calculated. Let's take a look at each of these in turn. First off is Google's Project Sunroof. Project Sunroof will let you search for your home, personalize your solar analysis, compare finance options, and provide a customized savings estimate. They also have the ability to do an area-wide solar potential search. So let's take a look at my address. Here in Florida. And it's already previously done a search. This is my home. We zoom in. It's not showing the solar system that's already on there, which you see behind me on this screen. So it's basically doing a calculation of where the sun is and what the potential is for sunlight per year, how many square feet are available for solar panels. I've actually installed two phases of solar energy. One on the south facing roof, which you can see is in the bright yellow and one uh, set of panels, which is on the eastern facing roof which gets the morning sun and into the early afternoon. They're telling me that my, my, or they're saying, what's your average monthly electric bill? So if I start off with what it was way back when, around 400, you can see they're telling me that I really should have about 26.3 kilowatts worth of solar panels. And it gives you the environmental impact savings, tells me if I purchase something like this up front, based on average prices, it'd be about $58,000. If on the other hand, I take a look at what my current bill is, let's see if I can get it down. Let's just say $100. If I wish to completely offset that remaining $100 on my bill that we discussed in our last presentation, I could do about 6.3 kilowatts of additional solar. And if I were to do that, I'd probably pick this south facing roof and this west facing roof for the afternoon. The PC, PV watts calculator can give you uh, an energy production cost of energy grid, uh, allows you to uh, take a look at, at estimates and the performance of potential PV installations. Again, I've put my address in. We get a map that basically says, this area is where my home is located. We can zoom in on it. And this is the data that they have the uh, National Solar Radiation Database information on. And let's take that six kilowatt addition, if I were gonna put that on there, let's just say seven kilowatts. And roof mounted. And I'm gonna take an average of 135 degrees, which is Southeast. And let's see, okay, I could draw the system, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the search. So they're gonna tell me that um, with this additional 
I'm going to save another 10,092 kilowatt hours per year. It's telling me which months I'm going to get the best solar production. You can see pretty much in the, the May area, um, March, April, May, generally. And that's my experience based on how uh, open the, the uh, skies are. So they're basically going through and showing you the additional information. So this is just a good site to take a look at to get an idea of what your overall wattage can do for you. One item that I don't have annotated on the slides is the solar federal credit, uh, tax credit, which is available from the energy.gov website. And the solar uh, energy tax credit is available um, for 26% tax credit for systems installed in 2020 through 2022, which would be this year, and then 22% for next year. And it expires starting in 2024 unless Congress renews it, and the chances are that, that it will be extended, but it's, it's something that if you're going to make the decision, you may want to take advantage uh, at the present time. So now you're, if you're pretty sure you want to go the solar PV route for your home, you've seen some of the tools that help you along your way. Many more resources are available on the internet, including websites and YouTube videos. We've seen a couple of those today. One note of caution though, some of the sites you might have, might have the ulterior motivation of having you make a commitment to a particular solar installer or link you to a service that provide your information to solar in, uh, installers who will start calling you or emailing you. So due diligence is recommended. And so our next presentation in this series will just address just that issue, how to purchase your solar. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, we're, uh, I wanna talk today a little bit about superstars. And I have a personal superstar who, uh, who I have made a little video about, and uh, he's here today, and so hopefully everyone will enjoy this. Let's have a let's watch the video. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Today I want to talk about a TikTok superstar, right from our own staff here at Tech for Senior. Yes, a big superstar on TikTok. Let's find out who it is and how this occurred. It's Ron Brown with. Tech for Senior, where we make videos for seniors. If you want to be notified when a new video comes out, you know, click the subscribe and that little bell, and we'll send you a notification when we make a new video. Well, let's talk about our TikTok superstar. Well, of course, all of you are going to say, congratulations, Ron, you did it. Well, I don't even have a TikTok account. You'd say, well, then Huey did it, or Bob did it or Ray did it, or Bill did it, but no, you'd all be wrong. Our TikTok superstar is Dewey Kloos. Yes, Dewey, of course, has always been my superstar. Superstars do lots of things, like as vice president of our club, congratulating our past president, Carol Foker, or taking one of the many courses offered by our club, or teaching courses at our club, or enjoying some oranges picked from my former house in Arizona. At 88 years old, Dewey thrilled us with his technology reports each week at Tech for Senior. A few months ago, he, he retired. I still get many comments on the videos that he produced over the past two years. And two weeks ago, I dropped Dewey a note and said, hey, this is a great comment that we got on this video you made. He said, well, you know, you might think I've been just sitting on my you know what, not doing very much, but I'm now a TikTok superstar. I said, what? And he said, yep, and I'm gonna play you the video in a minute that uh, uh, propelled him to stardom. 
So Julie and Joanne have been married for many years and are inseparable. What you'll see in this video is their home in Golden Valley, Minnesota. You'll see their house and Joanne has to go on a trip and she must leave Dewey for a few days and take an airplane trip to another location. So the video is of Joanne saying goodbye to Dewey. Now what's happened here is you'll see Dewey is standing in the front porch of their house. He's waving goodbye to Joanne. Joanne is actually in the car as it's backing out of the driveway and Joanne is filming Dewey as he's waving goodbye, but someone is filming Joanne. And let's watch the video and see what happens. I'm taking a picture of him, Troy. Could you stop just oh. a second? Just a second. Just as free. Love you. Bye. Like you've never been apart or something. It's terrible. It's terrible. You're too cute. All right. All right. Interesting video and sort of a heart uh, heartwarming, sort of a heartwarming video, right? Folks, that's been viewed over 16 and a half million times on TikTok. 16 and a half million times. Let's look at it again. I'm taking a picture of him, Troy. Could you stop? Just oh. a second. Just a second. Just as free. Love you. Bye. Well, you guys are acting like you've never been apart or something. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible, Troy. You're too cute. So that's our TikTok superstar, Dewey Clues. Well done, Dewey. We're waiting for your next adventure. Dewey Cluse, everyone's superstar. Mm -hmm.